I feel like this is a really good time to answer questions and tell you what we've been up to and see what you've been up to. Um, and I'm not good at like going live yet, but I say um a lot. So any questions that you have for us, let us know. We are headed to my best friend's baby shower. I'm wearing blue, so she is having a boy. I'm really excited for her. For a while there, all my friends had girls. I'm the only one with a boy. And so now I'm now I feel like everyone's having boys and it's really fun. Being a boy mom is amazing. I obviously hope to have a girl um, someday, but if I'm just a if I'm a boy mom, that is definitely enough for me because I I can't imagine not having Arrow. He's the sweetest thing in the entire world. I think for having a girl, you just have like the vision of dressing a girl with like the little cute frills and stuff like that. I just want to be able to play that one song. What song? Oh, and Vic is, yeah, he already listens to this song. It's called Butterfly Kisses. Butterfly Kisses. <laughs> he like listens to it and cries no, for our future, for our future daughter at the wedding, etc. Anyways. Um, I will watch Big Brother this summer, I'm sure. It's just so, right now, we are in market season. So with Franny and the Fox, we have a women's and children's boutique. And right now, we're up at Port Austin, Michigan. And it is... Pee so bad. Okay, he's going to pull over to go pee. Um, well, once, once he pulls over and we stop moving, I might have to get off because Arrow isn't as content when we're not moving. And normally, we're sitting in the back with him, but he's doing really good back there. Uh, and I get car sick, so I try not to sit in the back so I can help it. Oh, he's not down. He's sleeping. Oh, he's sleeping? He might stop sleeping when you pull over. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, so Port Austin Market. So, with watching Big Brother, who knows? This Port Austin Market keeps us so busy. We love it. It's so much fun. My mom and I, we run it and we love seeing our returning customers and new customers and meeting new people. It's such a wholesome little, like, it feels like a movie. Doesn't it feel like a movie in Port Austin? Yes, it feels like a movie in Port Austin. Sorry, I gotta pee. I can't focus okay. on anything right now. Pee my pants. Uh, yes, we, for, for baby number two, I do have an ultrasound on Tuesday to kind of make sure everything is working um, properly down there, so that's really good. Uh, how old is Arrow? He will be three in July, which is really going by fast. How did it feel doing reindeer games? I just still have the epiphany. I just can't believe that I won still to this day. Uh, I, cause I see people at the market and I run into people from the city and stuff and they talk about it and I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> like I did just go on and win that. And they were like, we're so surprised. I'm like, I'm so surprised too. <laughs> but honestly, like I'm so happy I did it and it was so fun and I would do it again. I'm not pregnant right now. No. Um, oh, thank you for coming to the store. I really appreciate that. Yeah, so the market is, we are gonna, I think, cl maybe close the store for the summer and just run the market because it's a little too much. Oh, hallelujah, praise Jesus Christ. I, I honestly don't know where this dress is from. Okay, so I tried on, <laughs> I was really upset this morning. I tried on like 15 dresses and none of them fit how I want them to fit, um, but they weren't like new. They were still in my closet from pre-baby. And I've been doing really well. I've been running. I did take a, a couple day hiatus from running, which is not good. But I've but I've been so busy walking and working that and you were running consistently for over a month. Yeah, and I just feel better. Um, and I know I'll get in. I'm going back to starting running again tomorrow. But I was getting my steps in easily without the running, so I, it was fine. Um, but. Oh, what I was saying. Oh my gosh, I keep losing my train of thought. Sorry. No, it's not you. Um, Running. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. So I'm like thinking, oh, you're losing weight, right? I don't know. So I'm assuming I'm losing weight. And I feel better. I can tell when I look in the mirror. 
like things are changing. So I'm like, I'm gonna try on this, the, these dresses. And I was just severely disappointed. This is the only one that fit like how I wanted to fit, it to fit. And I was trying to wear something blue for the occasion. So I found a pink dress I wanted to wear, but I was like, I can't wear pink. <laughs> uh, today I just washed my hair. I have like, I've been getting like psoriasis on my scalp since I've had Arrow. But no, today I just literally washed it and I blow dried it, which I never hardly do. And threw in a couple braids. And that's all I did with it today. Oh, you do those braids? These little braids? Yeah. Oh, I thought somebody did those for me. No, I do those really ones. Nice. Um, yeah, exercise has, I have been, so with Vic, I'm like, why do you exercise like, ugh, you know, for years? And now that I'm doing it, like my my heart rate is lower, like my resting heart rate is lower a little bit. Uh, I feel like, yeah, I sleep better, I eat better, my anxiety feels better, everything's kind of better. And honestly, I'm doing it for myself, so not anybody else. And I am going to just keep at it little by little. I don't expect these huge, huge changes because that's just unrealistic. And I finally accepted like small little changes is okay because what I would do is I would eat or I diet like really restrictively. And then I would either see a change and then I'd be so excited. I just eat that change away or I would, um, not see a change and then I would just be frustrated and eat. So anyways, I, I'm not working out oh, so I can win challenges on my next show. Hey, I didn't work out and I still won, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's anything. We slept at a hotel for Reindeer Games. These earrings, aren't they so cute? These are handmade from, so when we went to Chicago, we, we walked and we found this little market, this like artist. market and I think it was like a 50 year old woman and she handmade this completely like she put the little dried flowers in there and everything and I and I actually got like the matching bracelet too it's so stinking cute I don't know her name or anything and I don't think she sells online anyways but uh, oh yeah so no I don't sell these I saw someone do you sell these earrings where are they from yeah just they're handmade from a from a woman she does an amazing work I did buy the stuff to try to start making that stuff, but who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting there. Um, yes, Michigan is so beautiful today. We are going on a vacation soon. Um, super soon. Just hope my passport comes in. <laughs> um, okay, so I got a couple messages. Yes, we do carry plus size clothing. Um, we have the cutest stuff. I don't think I have it all online. Um, I don't have hardly anything online. Online is really hard for me to run as well when it's just me and my mom. We don't have a scan barcode system, so uh, I know I don't, if you are close to us in Michigan, definitely just come to the Port Austin Market. Every week there'll be something different for you. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I wanted to address, so, yes, I was surprised that I wrote the F word <laughs> on my story. Did you know I did that? No. Yeah. Um, Why'd you do that? Because I just got really passionate about this. Oh, the cows? The cows. Yeah. And I just wanted, to, I am going to do some research on it, and I'm going to make a video and explain, because I'm not, I just need to be more educated on it. But when I see any animal being ripped from their mother like I just I just don't think that's cool I can't just like turn my head to it etc and so I got some messages saying so we're just never supposed to drink milk it's like I don't think that we're supposed to drink milk but it's just normal in our society so we do it and then also like do you realize that it's really hard to cut off milk I get it it's in everything we eat cheese our, our cottage cheese proteins yogurt it's really hard. It's so incorporated into our diet that you don't, it's in everything. So like that day I'm like, I'm not eating any milk ever again. Like I was crying. It was so sad and so hard for me to watch. And 
I realized, I'm like, this is super, super difficult. So, and I know some people that do it and I love like seeing them cook and the foods they make. And I just need to get to that level. Um, I've never been vegan. I've only been vegetarian and pescatarian. So do I think like that you need to absolutely cut out milk completely? I just think you need to know where your milk is coming from. I think that is super important. And then also, um, I don't think everyone should turn their head to like to animal abuse and so I just that's what my passion is here on earth is to help advocate for the vulnerable whether that be animals or humans I feel like that's that's when my anxiety eases my anxiety starts up when I feel like I'm getting wrapped up in this world of you know almost just being being into yourself like just making videos on on my clothes or can you do like I don't like that I don't get purpose I don't get fulfillment out of it so when I got this platform it really did cause a lot of anxiety because I stopped being a nurse I started being a full-time content influencer and it was just really difficult trying to find the line of like how am I helping people and like and so then I do share mental health struggles I try to help and connect with people there I try to help animals on here I try to like if I'm not helping something then I feel like what is this all for um and that's Victor hears this for me all the time like it's the rant I go on all the time like I tell you the same thing. and he tells me the same thing it's like I can't do stuff I'm I'm over I don't it has to like make the world a better place uh, for me to really want to get into it and so a lot of times I know like the things that I should share and could share I don't sometimes or all the time because I'm busy and I'm and, and I'm just like nobody it's not gonna make the world a better place is it gonna give you more insight on my life or if it's gonna help you connect with me then maybe maybe I would like my fertility struggles or mental health or you know feeling like I my motherhood body is not where I want it to be I'm I share all my vulnerabilities with you to try to connect with you and not make you feel alone because I feel like that is what I'm here to do. This is why I have this platform. Um, I am a cancer. I have, <laughs> I'm very emotional. We went to parents night out. We, um, this is just a side story. Went to parents night out and there was babysitters there to watch all the kids. I think there was like 40 kids there. There's so many kids. Uh, parents night out. Parents, parents night, out. night out was like a, almost like a community organized through like the church I think uh, event yeah through our parish for parents to get yeah. together and create a sense of community and so like, that's what it's, that it's like younger younger couples in the parish trying to connect with one another I joined this women's group and that's where it kind of stemmed from just and for context. for context yes so they did have like babysitters there for the kids and so anyways <laughs> I took for arrow was the one kid that wouldn't like not cling to my leg and then I left him and then he wasn't crying when I left him and then I was like I got this like mom gut feeling I'm like we need to check on him so I went to like go check on him and then a lady's like we're dealing with it we're dealing with it like just go enjoy your meal and like obviously I couldn't enjoy my meal so I go back to the table and I start crying in front of these two other couples that like I don't know that well and then I was like Victor you have to go ch you have to go check on him like you have to go and so then Victor was gone for 30 minutes I'm like clearly Arrow was not well um so like even just little things like that I'm just really <laughs> I'm just a cry baby but I'm also very empathetic and I can feel your feelings and I know what you're thinking and what you're feeling and the tiniest little you know side eye or whatever I can read that and I do think that's why I'm decent at game shows and stuff that have to do with social gaming uh, I know if you're turning on me before you even know you're turning on me so I I can just feel everything so me and Vic are talking about like basically what we want to do like moving forward and we would we really um, we really want to share like the goodness of life and helping others and animals with you we do it on we do it on the side all the time and I think like it's really cool to share that and then it also by sharing it I think it also opens it up for us finding other people or animals that need help so like that's kind of where our path is leading right now isn't that what you think mm -hmm. yeah okay <laughs> I'm rambling but no I'm you're good you're doing great I'm excited about it and uh, what do I use for my teeth? Okay, I'll link it. But I have Invisalign on right now, and I am on my final retainer. Uh, 
Oh, so happy I don't have to see your teeth all over the place. Yeah. Nicole, we know you cried like crazy on Big Brother, and that's not, that's not even like a tenth of it, to be honest with you. I, cr I cry a lot more in real life. Um, I did not go to Cody's wedding. I wasn't invited. <laughs> that's fair, though. Oh, yes, you're in fi finishing Invisalign this week. Good job. It's really hard to, uh, like, stay on it and because and, you're completely self-disciplined. Yeah, affordable, affordable options instead of using stuff, instead of just, like, going right for the cheap milk. Um, I think that's in important. I'll try to touch on that because a lot of arguments are made... For example, on the milk issue, a lot of arguments are made. Well, almond milk uses all this water and da-da-da. Well, also, you know, cows drink a ton of water and, and to be able to feed them. And it's just like this whole... You, we can find an excuse and make an excuse if you want to. Uh, so that's for everything. And I do it too. And I'm very guilty for turning my head. If, if there's an animal um, hurt... I kind of go go numb, and I I send Victor to like to to, to act. I don't know. It, it's it's when you love something or it's hard. I kind of go numb. But it's in the nursing field. I mean, I do love people, but I didn't. If I didn't know the person, I could act really fast and save them. But if it's a loved family member, like obviously it's different. And that's a reason why you're not allowed to um, care for your family members in the hospital. We are headed to uh, my friend's baby shower. Victor's parents live in Puerto Rico. Does Vic pick the tunes on car rides? Yes. I'd say 80-20. I pick 80% of the song. Nah, Nicole doesn't listen to the music half the time anyways. She's normally busy. Yeah, this she is like the time now. A t I get car sick on my phone, but I still have to work. Oh, and you take the free time, right? I do, do take the free time. Uh, no, I'm not sunburned. That's blush. <laughs> blush and oh, actually, I did notice a little bit of sunburn. I was outside all day yesterday at the Port Austin Market, so yes, it is a little bit of sun, little bit of sun kiss, but lots of blush and bronzer. Uh, who do I stay in touch with? Okay, this is a total side topic, but I feel like you guys always want, like, juicy info, which this is not juicy info, but you just want me to touch on stuff because I'm very good at, like, staying right here. I don't go here. I don't go here. I just, like, ignore, stay in the middle. But you want to know who I stay in touch with most from Big Brother. So Big Brother is a really interesting show to make friends on. I will say because if you're good at Big Brother, I feel like a lot of people get mad at you if you're good. If you're not good, then I feel like <laughs> it's easier to make friends because you're just in the jury house hanging out, making friends, like all mad at the same person. Um, but I am good at Big Brother, and so I feel like it's easy to... Long story short, she has no friends. No, <laughs> Long story kidding. short, I have no big brother <laughs> friends. No, I just, like, it's also hard for me to find, it's hard to stay in touch with people. Like, there's, none of them are my neighbors. We don't all live, I don't live in LA. I don't live where they live. I think I could be really, I'd probably be really good friends with people that I wouldn't even think I'd be friends with. Um, well, we both touch base with Paul. Yeah, I mean, you know, Paul, uh, Josh, like, Josh, there's people that right. I, that I am friends with, Frankie, like, yeah, Frankie. Victoria, I talked to Victoria, um, you could give me a list and I could say yes, no, yes, no, um, but there's, it's not, I don't have any ill 
will towards anybody. So it's just like either we, it's just really hard to talk. I don't even get to talk to my friends that live close by. I'm going to my best friend's baby shower. She's due in like four weeks and I haven't seen her at all since she's been pregnant and she lives in Michigan. That's absolutely horrible. So... But, yeah. <laughs> I will say. Oh, I do love Taylor. Yes, I love Taylor. Yes, friends with Brittany. Like, yeah, there's... Um, I, yeah, Danny and I have no... Danny and I are good. good like, yeah. yeah, you pick... So if you missed that, it was a bad connection. So you pick up where you left off. When I see them, it's like, we're BFFs. Like, no difference. Even when I saw Xavier in New York, I was like, oh, man, I missed him. Like, you just you just miss him because, yeah, it, it's just, it's good times. But Big Brother full season is different in that some people will never forgive you for a game move. And that's just, that's on them. did hear, I did see that, so if you have a small group of friends, you are more confident, and I don't need, I don't need a ton of people, like, I don't need numbers, does that make sense? I, like, quality over quantity, and that's how I've always been on everything, even in high school. I have not met Jag yet, no. Mama Mia content, yes, she will be in the content, so we're looking for a videographer to start, like, just capturing our family adventures, and there will be more Mia for sure. Shout out. 
Is your name Dean? Happy birthday, Dean. We love you too. Vic would be amazing on Survivor. Yes, being a mom is a is like the biggest purpose, right? It's such a great purpose and uh I do sometimes need a break though. <laughs> Would I ever go on the heiress tour? Yes, I wanted to go. It was so expensive. <laughs> so like Taylor Swift's tour. Oh. Uh, so I've been reading a lot and I wasn't keeping up with Netflix. And then now I just told Vic, now that I finished this like book series I was reading, now I'm into the Netflix shows. And I feel like there's so freaking many now and I don't know if it's because I took like a break for six months but okay I didn't read for six months but whatever it was and now I just feel like they're coming out with all this stuff what does Vic do in his job um so uh I am a I'm part of the marine services team so anything water related um if for the Michigan for the Michigan State Police, so if, and it's anywhere in the state, there's like 16 of us, so if somebody goes swimming and they're not found, a uh, boating accident, plane goes in the water, or it could just be evidence, you know, people do crimes and toss the evidence into a river, um, we also do maritime security stuff, so we'll put boats on the water for different details, like if the president comes into town, or if there's fireworks in Detroit, or Jobby Noon or a raft off float down, things like that, so we kind of do a lot of different things um and yeah we're just experts in the water we're all scuba divers uh we'll go down maybe i think pushing it would be 200 feet um but we have you know we're deep dive certified black water surface supply yada 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 we do all that stuff very fulfilling job but gone from home a lot um but i, I enjoy it sorry it was super shake my arm was really shaky trying to hold that I do like Mel Robbins podcasts. Wednesday, love Wednesday. I'm obsessed with her. Love her. Their season two, they're filming right now. Thank you for your service, Victor. Thank you. Great, admirable job you do. Holy crap, Vic, cool job. I did watch Baby Reindeer already. <laughs> Someone said, do not watch Baby Reindeer. I did. Um, what's your favorite date night, Victor? Um, honestly, just... We love our son. We, I, I love Arrow to death, but we, me and Nicole don't get many uh, parents, just me and her, out or an overnight. And so we went to Chicago. Oh, that was uh, so fun. That was so much fun. Yeah, we did that Thursday to Sunday, and man, that was awesome. We, we had a great time. And we talked about Arrow like 90% of the time anyway, yeah, but just being us two and having our, you know, moment together, that, that, that was nice. I enjoyed that the most. Okay, yeah, we had like the best time. We I was like, we need to make that real, which we didn't. But it's like, oh, well, you're not super annoying. Oh, I actually do love you. <laughs> you're not a piece of shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh. What about One Piece? Have you seen that series? I haven't. Is it good? Let's see. Outer Banks? I did get into that show. We watched the first season. Oh, I love Jenny and Georgia. I do love Jenny and Georgia. What book series was it? It's a, It was a Sharon Sala series. I read, so in my public library, I read every single one of her books that they had. So I think there was there was quite a few. She has quite a few series. I would say the the one that I really like is the Jigsaw series, but this was a different one. Um, gosh, I don't know, but I really like her as um, an author. Bridgerton. Okay, yeah, I didn't start that yet because I have to be in the right mindset. We just saw the first two. I'm gonna be so excited. We've seen all of Bridgerton, but now it's like. Lady Whistle Down story. So each story is, each season is a different story. Got it. Yeah. Um, what place am I dying to travel to visit? Okay, so I really want to go to. Santorini. I, well, I really want to go to Turks and Caicos, oh, Turks and Caicos yeah. Beach Resort. I really.
really want to go there. That's where we're supposed to have our wedding. And I just see this family spot that looks so amazing. <sighs> am I still crocheting? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so bad at... I started hardcore. It's okay. Get Nicole hooked on something. She'll spend a lot of money on all the stuff. She'll do it for a couple months. And then it's on to the next thing. I feel like for me, crocheting is a winter hobby. <laughs> the show Superstore is super funny and Arrested Development. Arrested Development is awesome. I am not on Traders. I definitely should be at some point, though. Right? No. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what's funny is, like, things that I say that... Because I'm a woman, I feel like sometimes things I say are just like, oh, she 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 thinks that she's so great or she thinks whatever. But it's like, if a guy said that, like, okay, if you played Big Brother one time and even if you won, like, I don't consider you the greatest of all time. Like, there's, you definitely cannot be the greatest of, of all time. Paul, who played, Paul played two or three times. Two. Paul, who played two times and got final two both times now he is in the runner for the greatest of all time someone who played one time and won i'm sorry but you're not in the running of being the greatest of all time you played once and that could be luck just had to get that out there because people <laughs> people love to argue that and i'll argue it right back and also i think that females don't get the credit like we're called snakes etc and that's why literally taylor swift has a whole album based on being called a snake and i got called the snake the same exact year and it's just like it's but if i was a man i would have been a the great greatest player. the greatest of all time the greatest of all time um <coughs> Exactly. If they didn't go back, if they denied going back, it's because they were scared. They also knew that it, maybe I'm not that great. Like, anyone who goes back a second time, I give so much credit to because you have so much more to lose than you do to gain. And, I mean, if if you're turning it down, it's because you don't want, because you don't think that you can, you know, be any better. Yeah, I can see Danielle Reyes. She is she she is such a good player, and she would have won if they if like the diary room sessions were private. So, yeah, I mean, I only played reindeer games with her. I didn't play like Big Brother with her. Um, but the question is, Doctor Will said that Danielle Reyes was the best player to never win the show. Thoughts? I think that could be absolutely true. I I. It's hard when I can only really talk about, confidently talk about yes. people that I played with, yep. more so my experience. Um, especially that was like season three, I think, and I didn't get on until season 16. So I, you know, I don't know really how it was back then. Um, Dan kind of won twice. Yeah, so Dan was definitely greatest of all time material I mean there's no doubt about that he won and he came back who has the guts to do that you know is he the only one that's no Ian came back there's some other people but that's yeah I Dan did not have to come back if I want to sell my stash of yarn and let you know yeah I probably yeah. should we have a lot of stuff to sell at the house uh yes. Yeah, still talk to Xavier and Taylor. Um, love them. My favorite diary room players. That's a really good question. These are loaded questions because, like, you're put on the spot. And I have to really, I have to think. I don't know. I don't know who my favorite diary room are right now. I'm trying to think back in the day before I ever played Big Brother who my favorite person was in the diary room. Brittany's good in the diary room. Um, 
it's also like what I want to say. Oh, I think I would choose Dr. Will. If I was stuck in an elevator, would I choose? Does that mean like who to be like my ally? Would I choose Dan or Dr. Will? I I think I'd choose Dr. Will. I do think Dr. Will, his he has the best. Like he invented a lot of like the moves in Big Brother. Obviously, like he could be going out the door and just the way he acted so nonchalant and chill uh and then he'd get it all reversed like how like i don't know dr will is dr will also knows how good he is um he is really 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 good i haven't seen i have not seen the film nope i haven't seen that film Why are you saying, how are you feeling? Are you sick? What does that mean? Never talk to Paul. Love Paul. Paul's like my, Paul's like one of my favorite humans. No glasses today. Uh, would I rather be a traitor or faithful? I would let them decide. It'd probably be easier to be a faithful, right? Yeah. I'd probably get killed really fast, though, if I was... I don't know. Maybe not. Victor would do Big Brother again, I think. Yeah, of course I'd host um, a BB comp if they asked me. Does Arrow like Louie? He does. He loves Louie. <laughs> How has Victor been? Been good. It's busy. We always got something going on, whether between Arrow, my job, Nicole's social media job, and the store, and then we got the property. So always got to get them all. We got a whole long day tomorrow. Got trips coming up. Always got ads to do. Life is busy, but it's a good busy. We're blessed. Um, we don't want for anything. We're all healthy. Uh, so life is great. I mean, I, honestly, there's no other way to put that word. We're just very fortunate and blessed to be in the position that we are. Okay, so give me the tea. Who is on the season of Traders? Has is there any like spoilers out there? Because everyone keeps asking if I'm on. No, I'm not on. I promise you. promise you I'm not on oh you missed the podcast my mom is gonna love to hear that because she misses you too she's doing good with selling her house they will be moving um this fall I believe so I that's why I also want a videographer because I want to capture that um the move the move and everything and my mom is she got her hearing aids so if you listen to the podcast Oh, Derek is on. That's interesting. Like Derek, Derek, um, you spelled it D-E-R-R-I-C-K. So there's only one Derek spelled that way that I know of. Um, so she, yeah, she got her hearing aids and she's kind of having trouble with wanting to wear them because she hears so much stuff and it's like kind of overstimulating for her. But I'm really happy she went to Costco to get them. They were really affordable there. I know that that was a big dilemma um, we were having. They were like eight to ten thousand dollars, and insurance wouldn't cover them at all. And that's very common for hearing aids. And so, if you go to Costco, I think she got them for under two thousand dollars, which is amazing. Yes, Jesse Tannenbaum did discover me. And me. And Vic. They're saying someone from Big Brother 16 is going to be on it. Brittany from Big Brother 16 is going to be rumored to be on Traders. Uh, you 
see that off-roading trail? It's all sand. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. I didn't see that before. Okay. Cool. Well, I think we're, we're pretty close to being there. So, right now is your, I'll give five more minutes of any questions and I'll answer those so then I don't ramble. So, it's just really quick to the point questions. If you have anything that I want to answer that's not like... I don't like to offend anybody. We are going to my um, best friend's baby shower. Do I think it's fair amazing race winners get more prize money? Well, because they have to split it. So if they're not together, like say it's like um, best friends and they live totally separate lives, it makes sense because then each winner gets $500,000, right? Yeah, but at the same time, everybody else gets less money. Yeah, you don't get paid as much individually. Yeah. You get paid through travel, which is nice. Like in how you place. So if you place yeah. after fourth, it's like nothing, right? So. I'm not going to Scotland. I promise. Scotland? That's oh. where a Traders is. We loved Chicago. It was loved Chicago. It was We loved Chicago. It was we loved Chicago. It was the best. 